Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brad Cooper. So we have obviously talked a fair amount about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures on this show, specifically how they have started taking over the Gen Z world. Girls as young as 18 and in their early 20s have started getting preventative Botox because that's now a trend on TikTok that people are pushing. They're getting nose jobs, they're getting filler. Oh my God, the filler. It's like an epidemic. Everything in your whole body is filled to your lips, to your ass, your boobs, whatever. If it's part of your body, it's probably been filled by a 22 year old on TikTok. It's getting out of control. We have a whole episode about it. We'll link it below specifically talking about that in regards to young women. But the one good-ish part of this trend online of people talking about all their plastic surgery is that people are being more open about the procedures that they do get. Like, long gone are the days when it's like, oh, did she get that shot? Like, you know, reading in People magazine, oh my god, did this celebrity do it? No, everybody's open with it now. Hell yeah, I got a boob job, like all of that kind of stuff. So at least young women aren't assuming that the girls online naturally look like that. So that's, you know, one good point. But the drawback to that is that now they're accustomed to the done-up faces, the filled lips, and are utterly shocked when someone dares to be natural. And that's what we're going to talk about Today. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss an upload from us. All right, so I first started thinking about this episode because of a trend on TikTok that is utterly taken over my For You page for the last couple of weeks. Let's just watch some of these videos. All right, so the first slide is, I love how pretty you are, and then it's a swipe through post. So then you see hair dye, forehead Botox, Botox, lash serum, Trentinoin, Botox, whitening strips, lip blush, which means that her lips are tattooed and blushed to be that shade blowout. So it's basically her saying, I do a lot of things to try to look natural so that you think that I look natural. Here are a few others. This one's from Victoria Paris. She's a super famous influencer. Love how naturally pretty you are. And then she says, oh God, I have to zoom in on this one. Tinted brows, hair dyed darker, chemically straightened hair, professionally whitened teeth, filler, jawline liposuction, lip blushing. So cute. It's like too cute almost. I have to admit, I've considered getting lip blushing because I hate wearing lipstick. It gets so sticky. It's weird. If I was to do one thing, it would be that. But after doing this episode, I'm not going to on principle because I just will not. But that is the one thing that I've been tempted to do recently. You guys know about my nose job situation that I wanted a nose job when I was like 16. We moved on from that. Okay, guys, sorry. One more video, one more example. All right, you're so naturally pretty. And then this girl, teeth whitening, Botox, microbladed blouse, faux freckles, people are tattooing freckles on themselves now, braces, makeup, chin and jaw filler, boob job, Aqualix fat dissolver, lip filler, cheek filler, nose filler, two hour hair styling, and dyed hair. No, that's a lot of damage. I'm telling you, the fillers, they are out of control, ladies and gentlemen. And they're so, so many of these videos, they're everywhere. And they're doing all of this for the sake of transparency. Like I want my followers to know that I'm not like naturally like this. I don't wake up like this. If I do, it's because of all the procedures that I've had done. And growing up, I used to think that plastic surgery and these types of cosmetic procedures were reserved for celebrities and that one mom at the country club who had like the balloon looking like fake boobs. I wanna get my breasts done. Where did you get those? San Diego, excuse me. It's like, that was all I thought of in terms of plastic surgery. But now, it's incredibly commonplace, it's very normalized, it's accessible, and people are definitely taking advantage of that, especially the girls on TikTok. And all the comments under these videos are other young women thanking them for their honesty and their openness. Like, your transparency makes you even more beautiful, I needed that, thank you for sharing, it makes me feel so much better about myself. Girls saying, I really want all these procedures, oh my god, what did you think about your teeth whitening? It's all honky-dory, thank you for being honest. And again, the trend of being honest with your followers in itself is not a bad thing because transparency is important and I will always champion that, especially if it is helping the esteem and expectations of impressionable young women online. But it also really illuminated how many people have had work done and how many people, women, want to have work done and how few even know who is natural or what natural even looks like anymore. Which is why, amidst all of these videos coming out over the last couple of weeks, this woman went viral for posting this. So she said, here's a reminder of what the raw face of a 28-year-old girl who has not had any work done looks like. So it's just her, her hair is pulled back, she zooms in on her skin, her eyebrows, her eyes, the smile lines that everybody's afraid of. Very simple, it is a 12-second video. It got millions and millions of views and impressions. And she started a domino effect of other women posting similar videos. No work done, makeup taken off, like right before they go to bed, imperfect skin, unwaxed, unbotoxed brows. And I think that it is the healthiest thing I have ever seen on that godforsaken app. 
And for the most part, people thought that it was refreshing. Like, comments were saying, literally gorgeous, the freckles, the smile lines, I love it. Somebody else said, I'm 22, and the pressure to get work done is immense. This made me feel so much better, you're gorgeous. The pressure really is immense. It is literally everywhere, I am 22, I see it every day. People I spend time with, just walking out in Nashville, everybody has work done, it's all around us. Somebody else said, you look like the best friend who loves to garden and surf and never needs makeup because she is radiant, gorgeous, and genuine, which is literally the best kind of compliment you could give a girl. But then I started to see comments like this. You're lovely. And while 28 isn't old, of course, you just look a little older. I feel like you don't wear SPF, though. Somebody else said, LMAO, the sun is eating you up. Trolls, of course. She has freckles. If she's spending time out in the sun, I hope she's doing it because she's enjoying it and surfing and gardening, whatever that commenter said. It's totally fine. She looks normal. She looks natural. But the ones that really broke my heart were not from trolls. They were from young women who were scared and insecure about aging and about looking like that beautiful, natural woman. One girl said, my face is on the path and I'm 26, considering Botox because of my smile lines. Another one said, I have no texture or lines yet and my face is really full and firm. I'm scared to lose weight and look different. Thank you for this. I'm constantly stressing about my rage lines on my forehead and my smile lines. Another girl said, I don't know why, but this made me cry. I'm 24. I've started to notice those same lines form around my eyes and I try to remind myself that it's normal, but deeply ingrained beauty standards still make it hard to accept that I'm aging. I think this made me feel relieved. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Guys, these are young women commenting this young, my age, that are terrified to look like that woman. Another girl on TikTok addressed this with this video. It also went viral. This has just been a whole secular thing that's going on. Everybody's making videos about everything. Me, a 29-year-old, without any work done, reading the comments on the untouched 28-year-old face post and seeing that 99% of the mean comments are coming not from men, but from girls under 18. This is literally my worst fear on a video of an objectively gorgeous woman with minimal signs of no longer being a teen and growing into adulthood. It literally like gives me chills that those are the people that were going after her, that those were the people that were saying, oh my God, I don't, I can't believe I'm gonna look like that. Like, that's insane. That's not healthy. It's not like the original creator is some 80 year old woman and people are feeling the weight of aging and getting older, you know, starting to lose mobility, really, really looking different, the heavy wrinkles. This creator is 28 years old. She's not even 30. And these comments are from people around my age. They are already afraid of what their skin and bodies will look like in three, five, 10 years. I'm 37. What? I'm 37, I'm not old. Our perception of what is natural and normal has become so warped by fillers and Botox and surgeries and spray tans even, that it was literally shocking to see a totally untouched natural face, jarring to people my age. One person commented and said, we replaced body obsession of the 2000s with anti-aging obsession, you look great. And that's true, but it's not just about aging in my opinion. I mean, we are constantly comparing ourselves and looking for ways to change our image rather than being grateful for the body that we were given and looking inward to address our insecurities, which I guarantee is healthier for you long-term. That is what we should be inspiring young women to do. Not just posting about fillers and Botox and how it changed your life and made you feel so much better. Like that's not really sustainable long-term. We're all gonna age. Our bodies are all gonna change. You have to admit that now and get comfortable with it. Literally this whole episode has me so fired up because you guys see me normally in the studio on my set. My makeup is pretty heavy. They do on-camera makeup and it's fun. You know, you get to sit, you get to talk with a makeup artist, but I rarely feel like me. Like, it's me, but it's heavy, heavy makeup. And literally sitting and writing this episode, I'm at home right now because of the snowstorm, I did my own makeup. I feel more like me sitting here than I do with all the makeup on. So starting now, I think we're gonna make a change. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore because I would not be consistent if I said all of this and told you that I really believed it and then came in on Monday when I was back in the studio and had a whole face caked on. Like literally for my wedding, I'm planning on doing my own makeup because I literally don't feel like me with all of it on. So that's my two cents. That's what I'm gonna try to do to follow through and to be consistent because I really do think it's important. And of course, do what you want with your skin and your body because at the end of the day, it is your life and it is your choice. But this fear of aging and a desperate need to hide and change the body that you were given has to stop. Aging is a gift that so many people do not get to experience and being here in this body, being uniquely you and individual at the risk of sounding cringe and cliche is also a gift and we've forgotten that. Well guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already and if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok. See you guys next time.